Hello friends. Today we will learn about class and its object in Java. Let's take an example of human, human class. You can consider it as a category in which you can put man, woman, child and similarly fruit class. It is something which can be considered as an intangible thing, fruit. And under this category, you can put apple, banana, mango and all these apple, banana can be placed in a category of fruit because they have many common properties like name of fruit, shape of fruit, color of fruit, taste of fruit. Let's take another example, mobile phone. What is mobile phone? A general term used for all the devices using which we can talk or do various other tasks. Under this category, we can put iPhone, Samsung X6 and Moto G etc. In real world, there are many other objects found of similar kind which is called as a class. Let's first understand what is object. Look around you and you will find many real objects like your table or desk your television or laptop, your cat, dog, your bicycle and even your car. For a moment, just think about all these real world objects only. Real world object shows similar characteristics what the software object shows. Number one is state. Number two is behavior. So every object in real world like a dog has a state like name, color, breed. A dog have name, color, breed. These can be the state of dog and behavior is like barking and wagging tail. For every real world object, you can ask two questions. What possible states can this object be in? Number two, what possible behavior can this object perform? Software objects are conceptually similar to real world. Software objects have state and behavior as well. An object stores its state in fields and variables and shows behavior through methods and functions. Now, I will not discuss more programming terminology here. Rather, we will try to understand the concept. Move on to what is class? A class is a blueprint from which individual objects are created. Yes, it is the definition you will read everywhere. Let's try to understand it more. So, what is class? When you want to create many objects, many car objects, we require some template or blueprint. So, what does this blueprint and template look like? Just look at this picture. What is blueprint? It's a class. It's a concept or it is a design or we can say it is a structure using which we can create multiple objects. So, we call it blueprint or template here. In real world, you can say that car is an object and it will have two characteristics. Number one is the state and number two is behavior. So, the state can be its size, color, make and model and behavior can be move, accelerate, turn, reverse, shift etc. There, there may be many more state and behavior and we can describe it using variable and fields in software object and methods and functions the behavior of particular object. Let's take a quick view in programming. I'm going to create a class car and I will create two attributes or a state of this car object size and color and set size and set color will serve as a method or its behavior. Remember, we can create many more behavior or methods in your class. I am going to use the short example. Class is a keyword here using which we declare class. And main method is used to create so many objects using new keyword. 
object 1, 2 and 3. And I'm going to use the behavior and methods to set all these three methods, 1, 2 and 3. And I will set the size and color to different values to different objects. So, remember we can create many objects, as many objects as we want using the template or blueprint. Let's take another example to make you better understand. Focus on this picture. Here, student is a class and it serves as a blueprint or template which shows us that what our object will hold. It will hold the name and roll number and using the set name and set roll number method, we can create as many objects, here I am creating four objects. Number one is having the value Nancy, two is James, three Goldie and four is Gabby with along with their roll number. So we can create as many objects as we want. I hope my lesson helped you. Thanks for watching.